Hey, yeah, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Monday live stream where we're continuing our game of Baldur's Gate 3. I feel like we're probably getting near the end, although it's probably still going to take a while if we're only playing two hours on stream. Maybe we'll do some extended stuff, but right now, there's tons of real life things going on right now over here where uh, it's 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 affecting the schedule of things a little bit. YouTube and preventing us from maybe expanding on the live streams for a little while, but we'll see how it goes. Hope everyone having a good day. Baldur's Gate and looking forward to the tales of Shadowheart and Dell, the Mooncross lovers. Hey, Gamer Taurus. I'd be so sad when this BG3 run will end. I say we do another run after this lull. <laughs> well, I actually am working on something different for YouTube, uh, which is a um, hopefully like single video, like edited 30 minute long, maybe. Um, a complete walkthrough of Act One for Honor Mode. Um, for those of you who are on the Discord, I linked to like sort of sort of the written copy of the guide that I'm gonna have as a paired thing. Which is also some I'm gonna ask act as a script for the video. Um, that should be fun. I've been having a lot of fun playing in Honor Mode on, on a new game. Uh, it's it's great. A lot of extra tension. Honor Mode, of course, is you know single save, permadeath, all that. So if you muck up, it's gonna be tough. And mostly I'm focusing the guide on Act One because first of all, that's what I know best. But also, Act One is arguably the most difficult part of the game on the higher difficulties because. Um, you don't have, you know, your very baseline 5e. You don't have all your multi-classing options set up yet. You don't have like all your crazy item combos set up yet. Uh, so you're having to deal with the difficulty sort of as is. Whereas once you get into Act 2 and then especially Act 3, you've built up all your, your crazy combos and you're sort of well ahead of the power curve kind of thing. Um, at least is the idea. So we'll see how it goes. People in Baldur's getting in peril. We must kill them all to save them from fate, worth, and death. Well, that's how we handle the, uh, the gnomes in the Steel Watch Foundry. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Anywho, last week, we finally killed Gortash. We booped him hard. We got vengeance for um, for Karlak. Yeah, there he is right over there. Um, but Karlak has just left and gone to the camp. So this save was labeled go to camp. Uh, I had thought about doing some inventory management beforehand. So I went through and flagged a bunch of things to, uh, to be sold. Um, I don't think there's anything we're looking to buy right now, but I figure I may as well unload some stuff. And so I thought, oh, before the stream, I'll organize my inventory. I'll go to town, sell it and then we'll be ready to go to camp. But since I fast traveled somewhere, I got a bit of a cutscene. So I just alt F forward and brought us back over here. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I'll just go to the, let's say the actual Baldur's Gate, and then we're gonna look for some uh, some vendors. Hey, meow, doing good. <laughs> Track sounds like Necrofort Here's Might and Magic 3 to me. Really? I mean, it was all the music I was playing in the pre-stream was the Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack. Baldur's Gate 3 did win Game of the Year and a whole bunch of other things at the uh, the Game Awards. Well deserved, I would say. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. I mean, my game of the decade. Slain. Joy. Hey, Turtle of the Moon. Close. Hmm. Help me. Help you. Reciprocation. Watches. Ignore you, Foundry. Neutralized. Witnesses eliminated. You walk. Is the other brain saying he killed off any witnesses to me blowing up the, the Foundry? Task. Kill Orin! Kill Orin! Kill Orin! Kill Orin! Well, I mean, that's the plan. I'm a little worried that's what's going to happen if I just go YOLO in and kill Orin. You know, we might be missing some key, uh, some key things uh, to protect ourselves from the Elder Brain once, uh, once the, um, the the three there don't have the uh, brain shards, or maybe we'll be in a great shape to control it. Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah, Turtle Moon, thanks for subbing. We're six months in advance. Wow. I better not F this up. Thank you. Uh, all right, shopping. So we had a vendor there, but that's just the news hawkers. So that's not really it. Um, so chromatic scale. Oh, over this way. There we go. Got some vendors in here. There it is. What's up? We're not looking to buy anything. We're just looking to sell. Well, yeah, usual Dell will take that as face alley and have the brain. Absolutely. That's the thing with Dell is um, he kind of does just assume that people are mostly, until kind of proven otherwise, mostly leading him in a correctish decision. Which obviously is not, you know, 
not the case most of the time, but that's that's the way Dell plays over here. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life without glitter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we just sold a ton of stuff, so our weight is improved. It, was this the case before? This, like, bar here is overlapping the bottom bar of our middle character for weight? Maybe we don't normally notice it because we had a party of four, and so it doesn't actually cover up anything else the same way. All right, let's go to camp. We got to talk to Curly. Oh, wait, oh, it's your first time catching live. Oh. There's a request marker right there. Find Orn's final instructions. A letter from Orin. What is she? Oh, there it is. Who was on the murder of Gortash? Oh, I mean, I can pick it up with the alt mode, but... Is it under all the blood? Strange. You've done well, underling. Baldur's Gate gags on Gortash's gall, and your little pet still has eyes to witness it. Now, to do proper honor to the murder lord, you must submit yourself in trial to the murder tribunal. Remember, Sicarius. Succeed there, and you may find me in Baal's temple, deep below the tyrant's rotted cobbles. In that unholy sanctum, the murder lord will watch your blood duel at last. I will keep your minions safe until then, unless it misbehaves. Lazel? Misbehave? Nah, that's not a problem. Four new journal entries! Ah, okay, now it's done. Rescue the victim, impress that. We want to continue to investigate the murders over here. Um... Because I think that's the route I'm going to take. We've, we've gone through it quite a bit. Uh, so the idea is... Um, so, I did play multiplayer Baldur's Gate 3 this Tuesday for the first time in a while, and in that campaign, we're mostly just like, it's the campaign of bad decisions and mostly walking in random dis uh, uh, directions. Uh, we did randomly wander through the sewers and end up at presumably Orin Stronghold, but there's a door we couldn't get through. In that game, we hadn't, well, we hadn't progressed this. We hadn't finished investigating murders and so on and so forth. Um... So I think what we're going to do in, in this case, we're not actually going to pay attention to Orin's letter here. Uh, you know, it's not as um, not as convincing through the written word, but we've been investigating this murder because whoever's doing these murders and stuff like that, they're trying to get into the cult. They're involved with the cult. So we're going to keep pursuing this to see if we can use this as a way to uh, to track all this down. So that's going to be the path we're more or less following today. All right. Uh, I don't remember where Carlac camps. Oh, right there. Oh, Carly, 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 Carly. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Should we just go and do something else? Hey, soldier. You're back. Still soldier after everything we've been through, huh? That's, well, my voice acting doesn't include the word Delures. I've uh, been worried about you. No. Still soldier after everything we've been through, huh? Old habits. Did I miss anything while I was off having a sulk? Well, the Netherbrain talked to us. Villains Rose, Heroes Fell, the Apocalypse Druid in Era. No, I don't know. We can talk about that later. I'm more concerned about you. Would you believe it if I said I'm all right? You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got tadpoles in our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not sure anyone used to be Gale's line. be more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am. There you are. Breathing. Talking. Yeah, I love that outfit on her. Want. I like my outfit too, but... Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy? She could go back to Avernus and live. I don't know if any of these sound kind of right to me. Nice idea, but I'm not happy that... I mean, it's true... I don't think I am happy yet, for lots of different reasons. If you're happy, I'm happy. I mean, generally, but I don't know in this moment, man. Very precious indeed. Maybe two. I think, I think Dell knows he doesn't exactly mean it. And I think the way he's gonna say it, I think Carlac will also know maybe he doesn't really mean it. You know, it's one of those like, okay, I'm gonna put on a brave face. You're right. If you're happy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy too. In that case, there's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me when it's time for me to go? I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die. Yeah, of course. Of course, whatever you want. Thank you. Now, 
Enough tragedy, I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry any more, I'm gonna run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything. Oh my god! I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. Okay, can you rejoin the party? You're like super good and useful and soldier. We need someone smashy. Come on, we're heading out. Aces. I wonder why she goes back to camp automatically when it happens. Is it to encourage you to go and continue the conversation ASAP? Maybe you can F up the conversation and then have her like leave early and not rejoin you for adventuring. The problem is some of the items that I see, I see it and like, oh, right, that's a really strong item, right, for, for other builds, not any of the ones I'm running right now. And I'm like, can I sell this? Am I going to F things up by selling it? I've already had, I think there's some items in this game we've sold that in hindsight, I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I just kept it. Um, and certainly in some of my other games, it's been the case as well. I think some of the items we're holding here might be might have been for Lazel. Actually, I'm realizing why are you wearing a cold broom hat? Any condition affected on the target also applies two turns. I think is engaged or like um like in being in combat. I can't remember the, the term they use in this game uh for it. Um might count as a condition. That being said, I think we're gonna throw the flawed hell dust helmet on you. You have bonus versus saves. I don't think anyone in our party is going to wear the cloth of authority because it's just clothing and we're not doing anything like that. Uh, even if we pick up Gale, he's human, so he can wear light armor. So I think I can go and add that to wares. Scale mail plus two is very good, but I don't think we've got anyone in the party who would be improved by wearing this. I, unless I'm wrong. Dell's wearing his Justicier half plate, which gives him advantage on con checks, which is really good. You're wearing your Reaper's Embrace, which is mostly just huge amounts of AC. I can't remember if you have Warcaster in this game there, Carly, or uh, sorry, Shadowheart. You don't, but your con saves are probably pretty good. Oh, right. I mean, this doesn't give you that anyway. We'll add it to wears. That's fine. The Mighty Cloth is excellent. I think we were wearing it on Karlac, but I think... Um, I found this armor and I was like, oh yeah, it's probably better. So we're not doing the unarmored thing for her anymore. She used to wear the braces of defense as well, which you don't have. But I suppose what I'll do is I'll send that to camp, not get rid of it. Feels like, were we not running around with Karlak for much? Feels like she's wearing a lot of like dumb items. I'm not worried about being in webbed anymore. So we may as well give her speedy light feet. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll send that to camp in case we do end up in a web area. Charisma checks, and presumably this is charisma saving throws. It's a little bit uh, unclear, but I'm assuming it's charisma checks and charisma saving throws, which I don't think we have to worry about keeping that. The Gauntlet's a Tyrant. This is for unarmed attacks. It's really good. Also, it does give you plus one save DC. Even if we don't use the top part, the increased save DC is actually kind of interesting for... Uh, yeah, Dell doesn't need the Gauntlet's of Missile Snaring anymore. We're going to do that increase that save DC because we're stacking a fair amount of stuff with this to try to make his say his um his spells much harder to resist to for a good meal. we'll probably just sell the gauntlets of missile snaring unless charm or frighten a creature to gain d4 actually yeah these cerebral gubs we don't charm or frighten really so we may as well throw just missile snaring on you Bonus damage, Radiant Orb. Yeah, these the builds in this game are, are like so jacked compared to like what I know we can do now. And what my uh, my other playthroughs are looking like. Yeah, we'll probably just add this to wares. I don't know we have a regular dagger. Yeah, I don't think we're going to keep the Infernal Spear, Generic Longbow plus one as well. Just add that all to wares. Can't give up now. That character just goes Super Saiyan. She's just toasty is all. And also huge because she is, um, yeah, she's got the Elixir of Colossus going on. Okay. Learn a passphrase. We must speak at Candle Hollow's tombstones to meet with the Bayless cult. I think, right, this was an investigating the murder line. I think this is in the zone of like Baldur's Gate proper here. So we'll just go to one of these waypoints and then see. 
Yeah, in my um in my actual Arnhem Road run, I have um I mean our Shadow Heart here actually I was gonna say is a cleric of light. No, of course not. I forgot she's a paladin in this run! That's right! That's why we have slightly different itemizations for her. I mean, she does deal radiant damage with her smite, but that's it. I forgot we made her a paladin, which I'm very pleased about. Especially with Del being um, the druid here. So we've got sort of some divine casting covered by Del. Um, I'm really enjoying this build, by the way. I think the uh, the druid, the circle of the land druids get slept on a lot. Uh, those are more spellcast reoriented ones. And I don't, I'm not going to suggest that they're anywhere as good as a light cleric or life cleric that's built around those particular things. Um, but in this party where we don't have it, the druid does a pretty good job um, and gets access to haste. There's a couple of different of the circles that you can take at level five that give you access to haste. So it also complements the fact that we don't have a proper wizard or sorcerer in here as well. I mean, we're not twin casting it, but it still gives us, it's like good filler. So that's good. All right. Um, I mean, that could still go to a vendor to sell some things on Carlac, but I think we're okay. So we do have a little side quest there with Van Rett. You know, that's probably going to take two seconds. Let's quickly go down the Blushing Mermaid. Plus, uh, there'll be some vendors down in this direction, is there not? Oh, no, I'm thinking of Storm Shore's uh, armory. Let's say I can sell a few more things. I mean, the Glitter Gala still had some money left. I suppose I could pop in there, but let's not worry. Let's take a quick look-see over here, because some... I think some mother like lost her daughter or her daughter's in trouble or something like that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go upstairs. Oh, up even higher? Because I was say, yeah, I was making a mistake going on the ground, like bottom here, and I got to go in here. But you mean upstairs, upstairs, there's some stuff. Oh. I think Vanra, the, this quest plot line might still be up a little higher. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been up here before. Actually, just leave me to burn. Oh, bloody hangover. Having a bad time there, Captain? Can't a captain be bloody hungover? No, you know what? I don't think we're in the Sorcerer's Sundries in this run, are we? Oh. Oh, jeez, we got to do that. Why, hello. Got to take care of Lorican or whatever his name is. Captain Grizzly at your service. What can I do for a long I feel like we've heard this voice uh, from a few characters in this game. Like Oh, oh, here we go. I'm hearing about a missing girl, Vanra. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking so I've been watching the BG3 the stuff in a while. I was wondering if there's been any progress on the Shadowheart stuff. Um, right, no, we haven't gone and visited um, um, anything Sharon. We also haven't done Cazador for Astarian or anything. Tell you that bit, huh? Sorry, I was talking over this. My bad. You're all right. And she was alone. Yeah, because she said she might have lost her daughter here. Pull the knife. Unless the daughter not exist. No, she didn't tell us that. But yeah, if Laura's daughter isn't here, where is she? Not a notion. But not a soul has seen this so-called vampire of hers. Myself Laura just... Included. Look. Is it just I a psychological disorder? Days. She ran with Bart Black Dagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. Hmm, okay, all right. Well, listen. You know what? A child is missing. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Gods. I was wondering about Do that. I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. Yeah, mad as a box of frogs is pretty good. Come to this. But I'll pay a hoard of gold. 3,000 gold? Permanently. Uh... I mean, that is insane. I'm like, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm thinking. 3,000 gold? That's insane. I'm just going to say that. No less insane than lying about having a kid. 
If you don't do it, I'll find someone else. Yeah, and I figured the game would think that I mean that's insane, like killing someone, but I mean the money. All right, listen, I'll I'll uh I'll say I'll, I'll do it, but I mean obviously we're not we're not gonna immediately go and like just shank this person. We're gonna have a conversation, but we like okay, no no don't don't send anyone else. Don't send anyone else. I'll take care of this. Good. This is a mercy. I promise. Return when the deed is done. I could close the main chest. Is there more upstairsness? I don't think so. Did someone take all their clothes off? Well, or just throwing underwear on stage? Why are there so many underwear? I like this little side room, this little private side room. I'm gonna try and incorporate this sort of stuff in like my uh, D and D maps going forward. Oh, we got a little game. Is this like beer pong? Hey. Did you hear that scum sucker Gortash pit the big one? Good, says I. Prick was too oily by a... Beer scotch. <laughs> Word of advice. Don't open a tab here. I didn't pay for 16 months, and suddenly it's work off your debt or lose a limb. Not a bit of reason on them. All right, listen. Is uh, Saint Banner killed Laura? Hmm. Um, I think Gail's gonna be mad if we go to Sorcerer's Sundries without him. I think I'm gonna short rest to top off Carla. Although, we could just have her drink a bunch of the uh, the low quality uh, health pots. Save her short rest because she's the only one that's got damage other than us. Actually, we don't have that many uh, cheap ass potions of healing anymore. Still, I don't think there's any reason to save them. They're not good in combat. We can save her short rest for when we're a little bit more. Damaged in a balanced way. More interesting times. Right, source of strangers over here. So we'll do that and then we'll head north to um to the place to follow the cult. Kinda makes sense to do like maybe a little bit more shopping. Ready our supplies and then head in. Fully prepared. Yeah, murder's wrong, but it's three thousand gold wrong. Exactly. Everyone's got a price. Uh Oh, yeah, I guess you can recontrim every short rest. I thought okay, it gave us two us's for a second there, but. Oh, she's right here. Or. In here? Oh, Laura's home. Okay. Refusing 2,000 is more. I don't think we're going to get paid 3,000 bucks. There's no way. This is just another level of scam on top of scam on top of scam. Now, I don't know if Dell has that in mind. He's at this point, he's willing to like, OK, I'm not sure who to trust with, with the Laura thing and the kid and whatever. You're here. But he probably believes the offer for 3000 gold is real. The flaming fish still have no clue. Useless twats. You never told me you pulled a knife in the Blushing Mermaid or that used to be a pirate. I'm actually here to kill you. Listen, I just I mean, just. I need some things cleared up. Tell me the story about the knife. I'm not proud of my past, all right? I lived a violent life, but that old nice lies. Jeez. Back. Getting the occasional drink in the Blessed Mermaid is as close as I get to the old days. As for pulling a knife, fine, I did. Yeah, where's the option to mind read exactly? It wouldn't let me look for Banra, and I panicked. All right. I wish there was a more delicate way to approach this, but Captain Grizzly said you don't have a daughter and you're just batshit crazy. How could she say such an awful thing? I I feel like I'm losing my mind. Vanbrook is real, damn it. All I want for her is to be home and safe. Please. Really? You have stuffed toys, although you could just have been buying this for an imaginary person. Let's go upstairs. Wait. Oh, there he is. Night, night, pirate ship. Well, thumb collection nursery rhymes opens on dog-eared page. 
Umberly remembers. Toss your coin on whispered prayer. Down, down, down. Sparrow, queen, sea queen, blessed and fair. Down, down, down. Your depths were dragged with care. Down, down, down. Well-worn map of the Sea of Fallen Stars. A small red X marks a spot in Illigon. Just Okay, so that's not in our game. Listen, Asterion. Subtle steps. It's not because we're here to steal. It's because we. It's because we need information. That's all. And I don't like the colors. Quick and quiet. Quiet. Critic these days. You don't have to look at it, you know. We're not wearing the graceful cloth on him to get advantage on dex checks. Arborn auction receipt. Lot 47. Description. Starborn. Gaff rigged three-mast sailing vessel. Okay, so it's a boat. Condition fair, da-da-da-da. Buyer anonymous, seller Laura. So Laura sold a ship. From the spot. And she's got a lot of money from selling said ship. There are toys... So, like, there's two beds, there's a book of nursery rhyme, there was a toy on the ground floor. I mean, again, that doesn't confirm that this person actually had a child. You have news of my daughter. I don't want to hear it. Oh, this just repeats things. Yeah, if she's crazy, she might still have those things. Exactly. And I don't like well, I'm going to leave this for now. Because we certainly didn't get any answers. I'm, I'm, we're certainly not in a position where we're justified to choose, like, all right, let's just murder this lady. Because, okay, she did pull a knife one time somewhere, but, like, th there's no way. I wonder if I went back to the, um, uh, the Blushing Mermaid and poked around if there might be some more clues about something somewhere. But then they'll have to wait until later. So, okay, I don't actually have a quest from him. I thought there was a quest to go shopping here, but maybe not. Hey, Roland, how's it going, man? You. What are you doing here? Oh, it's funny. He didn't recognize it as a multiplayer game. Our multiplayer game was a little crazy. Look a bit worse for wear. What happened to your face? You see Aridin outside? Wait, was he? Really? Oh, I didn't notice him. Ah, you look a bit worse for wear. What happened to your face? Nothing for you to worry about. His voice catches. Something's wrong here. Oh. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? Yeah, you are kind of covered in blood. So yeah, there is an outstanding thing for News of the Night Song to be delivered to Lorican or whatever his name is at Sorcerer Sundays. So I have information on the Night Song. Be very sure before you make to visit the Roican. He's got a beastly temper, but if you really do know something, he'll want to see you. Head upstairs. You can find the way into his tower up there. All right, but first... How can I help you? I would like to buy something. I suppose that at least I can help with. And sell another thousand bucks worth of wares. All right, what kind of items do you sell here? Okay, those generic weapons are just sold. I just sold you that. These green items are all generic. All right, birthright, baby. Plus two charisma. We don't have anyone in the party who is stacking charisma, though. Right? Dell's wisdom con. Uh, Shadowheart is going to be strong. I mean, charisma helps with her paladin aura, but I don't think like she, we don't have a we don't have a sorcerer. We don't have a warlock. Yeah. So I don't think we need that. It's an excellent item. If you come here, you're going to want to check because a lot of parties will want that. And then some won't give a crap. Yeah, I mean, Will could use it, sure. But we're not really... Well, we are going to use Will when we go after the dragon. How much does it cost? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're not on honor mode, so things aren't insanely expensive. So we could pick it up. Yeah, we sold that. Armor of Landfall. Oh, yeah, sort of druidy kind of thing. Plus one bonus on save spell save DCs, which is great. When starting your turn in plant growth or vine surface, you regain a little bit, you regen a little bit, who cares? It does give you advantage on con saves, but I think I'm just going to use my Dark Justice, your half plate. Cloth of Authority. Oh, yeah, we sold that one. We sold that one. 
Vest of Soul Rejuvenation, I believe is a best in slot item for um, a couple of different classes. Uh, whenever the wearer succeeds in the saving throw spell against a spell they regain, great Kushigo counter, wearer can use a reaction to make an armor strike against any attacker that misses, armor class plus two. I think it is like a best in class, a class item or best in slot item for um, monks. Conceivably unarmed, maybe throw barbarians might have some value here. I don't necessarily care about the unarmed strike part so much, but it's got decent base AC because the extra plus two and then the heal. But again, I don't think we need it in our party. Ring of regen. Regen one to four hit points at the start of every combat round. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, and then the quick spell gloves here is actually, um, oh, this isn't the insane one I was thinking about. Yeah, so once per short rest, you can sp you can cast a cat trip as a bonus action. I don't think that's a huge deal one way or another. But yeah, we may as well pick up the pointy hat and give it to Will. Um, the ring of regen is interesting because that's not that doesn't represent a ton of regen. Although it might full heal you outside of combat. Can we just pass it around? This is the start of your turn. If it's still counting the turns outside of combat, that is actually going to be a really nice way for us to top ourselves off in between rounds of whatever. So that's going to be fine. All right, consume. Okay, nothing. Books we don't care about. Hope you found what. I do have so much health. Um, so I mean, all my people are pretty invested in Constitution, but then we also run a uh, an aid spell. Although with um, Shadowheart no longer being a cleric, our aid's only giving us an extra 10 HP. Because what I would do when she was a cleric is start of the day maximum spell slot aid. So I think what uh, I think we're getting plus 25 from her before we spec her to be a paladin instead. So. Shopping done. I mean, we got some people here with names, although I don't There's expect not much left. Looks like folks had the app. Yeah, not there. There is some herbs that aren't continued to be theft, so we may as well take them. Always room for more. I mean, I think these are herbs for like pretty low level things, but interesting. The books here, this is not flagged as theft, but. I mean, the thing to do, and I'm used to in my on-road run where we need money more, is like anything. It's like, yep, take it. Yeah, we'll check to see if there's a conversation we can Would you mind if I finish browsing before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're cranky as heck. This person, though, has some interesting information. Because we'd gotten a hint. Yeah, to find the Tarkiat Codex. So our book, The Necromancy of Thay, we've been told that this codex might have some information that is useful. We'll talk to the Tome Monger over here. Literature department. Sorry, we'll whisper. Ring of Regen's nice to pair it with those on heal items. Oh, right. When you get heal, you get self blast or whatever. Yeah. Or does it count as you healing as well? Healing source. Why are you whispering? Whist. These books are sensitive. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. Be interested in any especially rare tomes you might have. Huh. Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us. Yeah, I love the idea of the quietude is for the books. Yeah, not the readers. He's reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're saying the books are in his tower. They're Even if he was reluctant. here for their and our customer's safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkite Codex, the That's Isles the of Cassis and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sea. This is now an ASMR stream. Of strategy. Okay. Do any of those interest you? Yes, the Tharkite Codex. Hmm. Interesting choice. If I didn't know better, I think you might have the Necromancy of Fae. What? I mean, what? I'd advise tremendous care with the Tharkiat Codex. The cost of unlocking its mysteries is onerous. Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I buy one of these rare tomes? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. 
I'm happy to describe the wonders that lie between their colors, but I'm afraid purchasing them is simply out of the question. Librarians and horny bards, two people who would be willing to describe what goes on between covers. Isn't it your job to share knowledge, not keep it locked away? At least tell me where the vault is. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in Okay, there. but where's your office? All right, let's trade. Um, yeah, you got scrolls and books, none of which we particularly need to buy currently. In fact, I should probably just consider dumping my emotional support scrolls at some point for extra cash. But dang it, you know, the goal of the of an RPG is to see how many consumables you can still have in your inventory by the end of the game. You're after nothing but the best. All right, let's go upstairs. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. Yeah, that's the goal of the game, Essentia. Of any RPG. End the game with as many unused consumables as possible. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Yay! All right, so we've got a door here. We got a door here. We've got four portals currently. But let's read the plaqueways in front of the portals here. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. Is that what the Night Song is? No. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive. We're, we're, we're a kids show now. Is that what the night song is? That's right, it's not. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. Is that what the night song is? No. The night song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Is that what the night song is? Yeah, watch out behind you. <laughs> yes! Okay, so we know we can go through there. Um, we also... Okay, so apparently her office is over this way. Now... Oh, there's actually no one watching this direction right now. That's convenient. Asterion. If you could be so kind. On my way. Very, very quiet. We'll just wait out here. We're going to keep looking at the plaqueys. Ooh, there's a classed book over here. Okay. <laughs> In my multiplayer, we came here. I think we even entered this room. Um, but the, the roguey character did not click on the book. So we never found this portal, which was presumably to the vault. Ooh, basement chess key. Let's steal that. An officious note. Miklor, Master Lorakan has requested his Tome of Divination spells be brought to the basement. Must focus without interruption in order to see the unseen. Since you refuse to speak to me since the incident with the ape, I have no choice but to make my request in writing. Vompter. Also a note from Vompter over here. Mickler. As you refuse to speak to me following the incident with Three-Eyed Man, I have no choice but to make my request in writing. Master Lorcan instructs you to bring his newly acquired lamp, the one with the gin, to the vault, and store it behind the protective wall. It is far too dangerous to be left on display in the shop proper. Ooh. An alternative perspective of the weave. Oh, yes. The stout and sturdy. Yeah, we read all those. Okay. So that's thing one. We could go in there. We could also go and talk to Lorcan first. What do you think we want to do? Do we want to go upstairs to Lorcan and talk to him about the night song? Or do we want to go downstairs right away uh, and investigate the vault for like a fancy book? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm realizing that I think the issue is we were having issues. Um, for some reason, the guards had turned the other way. So I think our rogue was having problems getting to the room. Uh, so we're like, oh, we'll go deal with Lorcan first. And then I think we've just forgotten our way out to come back in here. Down. Wizard time. Escape means loot properly. Yeah, maybe we can just rob him first. What if we set up, set off an alarm and then he gets mad at us and he can't converse with him about the night song? 
Mm -hmm. All right. So we got lots of votes for going downstairs. When it in says a vote for the stuff I haven't seen yet, so fancy buck. All right, fancy book it is. Now. Never a dull moment. All right, time to skulk about. It looks like we should just be able to walk in here and no one will care. A little worried about my minions. Wonder if the gods are watching me. On I go. Or maybe the minions will have aggroed things? Hang on. That was a little bit weird. I guess, is it, do the minions not go into stealth mode? Because it wasn't Shadowheart, she didn't actually walk into the room there. I have to assume it was the minions somehow triggering it. Yeah, I don't know if the minions, maybe the minions don't stealth, I don't remember. And if they don't, then that may have caused the issue. I wonder if I just got, um, a stair and to just run in there and click on the portal if it would portal us all. Like, let me just group and click. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was fine. We'll just do that. Let's... Miklau's ledger. And let's officially, yeah, stealth everyone. Okay, don't really care about that. I mean, we have the giant flaming uh, Karlak. Arguably, you know, she would have had a hard time stealthing anyway. Posted scroll. I haven't seen this at all. Madam, it is no secret that yours is the finest collection of records within our fair city. The scroll brings you a query I believe only you can resolve. It has been a long-held bit of lore within my family that we are descendants of Laryl Silverhand through my mother's line, though no existing genealogy can confirm our claim. So, so uh, that's one of the seven sisters chosen of Mistra. Um, I don't remember which one Laryl Silverhand is. Maybe someone can remember the lore or do a quick uh, wiki lookup. Um, I don't think she was the ranger that lived in Shadowdale. Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe the cleric? Uh, it would mean a great deal to my grandmother, Haverfoss, who is poorly at the minute. The family name is Gradle. Oh, uh, hopefully yours, Amber Lehman. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Oh, autosave. All right. It's like a force field floor? Sorceress Vault. There is herbage, material sorting. Storage and oh, okay. sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. That is a toads. That's curious. Oh. There's a Buto! Click the Buto. Don't mind the big moving fire. It looks like a person. Exactly. All right, looks like there's nothing here, although maybe more of the walls. Actually, let's do a quick little pass along these outer walls. Let's break stealth for speed here, just in case there's another secret. Oh, there's a door over here too. Nah. Okay, let's go through the secret way first. Has seen or heard the element of surprise? I mean, that feels arguably trappy. Wait, can I just walk? Oh, it's still force fielded over here. Maybe. I mean, as a as a D&D &D player, I'm not sure you'd ever be able to convince an actual player in a party to, like, walk across here. The, the floor is going to disappear in a second, isn't it? That would be funny. You open the chest. The force field disappears. You fall to your death. A couple of scrolls of globe and vulnerability. Ooh. I say Del can learn this, but I'm getting confused between my characters. He doesn't have the one wizard level. All my other parties have like someone with like a splash of wizard just to be able to learn all the powerful scrolls. I jumped it, wasn't about to trust that floor. Yeah. But I was also worried that like you jump here and there's like a trap on either side of this. Cause that's my first, so I didn't think there was a force field first. I thought, okay, you're supposed to jump across here, but then yeah, you put a little like explosive trap or like the floor just like tips as you land. Yeah, I'm shocked that we haven't fallen to our death. I've got a long road ahead. Keep the party stealthed. Let's have Dell walk into this door here. See, none of, none of this. Why is the floor here pink? All right, everyone walk in with me. I'm sure everything's fine. What is it? They won't see. Sure it's fine. 
Quill saw your new tutorial like 10 years ago in the 7th grade. Kickstarted my career in game dev. I'm a senior artist now working on AAA. I want to say thank you. That's amazing! Holy cow! What a weird freaking world, man. That is really cool. Congratulations. Okay. I'm still kind of expecting the floor to just, you know, disappear, but... The Red Knigget's Final Stratagem. So we've been told all these books are super dangerous and they're locked down here for, like, our safety. But, you know, what could possibly go wrong? DC 20 is pretty serious. Looking ahead. All right, let's let Del do it. Cool is right, I'm sure it's fine. Before her time as an exarch of Tempest and a goddess of strategy, the Red Knight was a paladin most devout. She toured armies the world over as both student and teacher, and thus was she elevated... Thus was she elevated by Tempest to her current status. These pages contain that of her which was left in the material plane after her ascension. Valuable knowledge hidden between oh. these pages. Divide and conquer. We read the Red Knight's final stratagem. We receive Scroll of Artistry of War. Summon the apparitions of six matter strategists. Each apparition strikes a target you're choosing, dealing 8 to 18 force damage on hit. Refreshes on a short rest. No, it's just a regular scroll. None of it's scroll you can learn. It's like a super magic missile. Ah. So I figure we leave the book. It's worth two grand. Warning, extremely powerful knowledge may contain curses. So Dell is going to be like, listen, we're going to leave the book here. And the Starian's going to be like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That sounds right. Oh, hold on a sec. I need to tie my shoe. Just, just wait. And he's going to go and steal this while the rest of us are getting ready to walk away. Light on my feet. You know, we're just, we're just, we just turn around, we walk over here, and Asterion is gonna steal this. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe nothing will happen! All's well that ends... Yeah, not as bad as it Everything's goes. fine! Swift as my feet can carry me. Alright, so that was through the secret door. More weird wooden chests. Shall we? With pleasure. This is the run of bad decisions, right? You're right. It's like Crusader Kings. The game's more fun when you play unoptimally sometimes. Just like 12 whole gold. I really have to pee. I'm gonna add break in three minutes. Okay, good. All right, a little bit more gold. Restricted area. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. I did loot a key. No, no, it starts in three minutes, uh, Sencha. Oh, Sounds apparently we don't have the key to this. With ease. And then I'll go pee. Cat break. Not gonna worry about Cat's Grace because we have all the rerolls from the lockpicking kits. Sil Why does this say Silverhand? Elminster, Carsis. Need to find a way forward. Whoa! Stop! 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 Everybody, stop! Trying to right-click, but I guess right-click only stops the person ahead. If this is Everyone else is still on follow mode. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. I only fail on a one. why in pen and paper D, D a one on a skill check is not an auto fail what Although do you here. have here oh. something valuable i bet my horn okay sorry i don't actually know what they were responding to here no we don't get the voiceover we don't get it here either oh what do you have here something valuable a bit was she responding to there's an arcana check is this just in general about the room gas pits over there okay so presumably those things trigger the... I may as well disarm the gas pits just in case I missed a pressure plate. And this after Gortash is it? Yeah. And I had priorities, man. I mean, technically I still have a priority with Orin, but this was on the way. Would you think... Would it be different with uh, with Gortash? Alone? Does Gortash task you with coming down here for something? I mean, I don't know if I want to know the answer to that. 
Okay. Elminster, Silverhand, Carsis. I mean, those are all pretty good sounding rooms. I don't know why Silverhand is the one that's highlighted specifically. Oh, because it's a zone transition, whereas these are just side rooms. Lock picking impossible, and we don't have a key for you. Okay. Let's see. Same? Yep. Okay, well, I guess we're going straight forward then. Now, I mean, we've got torches and stuff. There might be things we can poke and click on, but we'll, Easy. This place is true. Like this. we'll go through the route that is open to us for now. Because it might lead to ways to access this. I don't think I actually clicked on the trap there properly. I think he was going to walk onto the trap. There's a lever. I think the lever was to open the door we came in from, though. Wasn't it? All right. That break's about to kick in. I can go pee. There's a lever here. All right, ad break has started. I'm going to go pee. Um, okay. So the illusion door with the lever is what sent us back. All right. BRB. Okay. So for me, I'd be thinking, let's look for the necromancy wing, because that feels like the one maybe most likely to have what we're looking for. But there isn't one. So let's just go abjuration first. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. There's the lever there. So presumably that's the way out. Goes back to silver. So I wonder if it is a maze. Are we standing on a trap? It's glowing in a trap like fashion. Be careful. There are traps about. Oh, gargoyle hell in the wall. Okay. Hey, ad breaks over. Sarm all the gargoyles. Like a scorch mark on this wall. Over there too. Oh, that's probably the gargoyles probably spit fireballs that hit. Yeah, across the room. That's what's going on. Okay. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. I'm not sure what triggers it. Unless I'm right about, like, we're on a, um, a pressure plate, maybe moving off of it? Demon Wild Shadow. I'm gonna go Shadow. Okay, which gets us back over here. <sighs> Is there anything I got? I mean, probably, that might give us a, cl a clue as to how to navigate this. I mean, that was Abjuration in the Shadow. Hey, well, we'll poke these other doors first, and then we'll see what kind of other things. So we'll go transmutation next. How about this? We didn't pull the lever. Oh, that brought us back down to Silverhand. Okay, that was transmutation. What happens if I flick this lever? All right, I guess we don't need the stealth. No, okay, right. it still kicks me out. So it might be that abjuration is the way to go, but we'll check you location. Someone doesn't like visitors. Traps. How considerate. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. I want the levers. Traps. Like, I'm wondering if all the levers should be in the same position. I mean, every room we're coming into, the lever is actually up. So maybe we should be flicking them down every time. Also could be about backtracking. We got Wish over there. Maybe we'll go in and come out. Yeah, back to well, the, the silver hand and the doors that can't open. Hey, scary cray, scary cray. Can't remember how to navigate. We'll give it a we'll give it a few more goes here, and then at some point. Oh, this is silver. Hang on, I got the quest marker on wild for some reason. No, it just brings me back here. The quest marker is moving though. For whatever reason. Yeah, it still brought me back here, though. Maybe it's tracking everywhere I haven't been. Okay, that's three illusion, which I thought was bringing me back before. Yeah. The quest marker may just be randomizing, because it doesn't actually know. Yeah, it's sending me back there, and if I flick this down, it's still going to be the same, right? Yeah. Okay. 
magic school into spell. Yeah, do we cast the spell to trigger is an idea. For example, um, Firebolt is evocation spell. But Firebolt the door. I mean, are the doors even labeled though? Oh, hold on. We did get somewhere different. Foresight, invulnerability, gate, wish. So I can put this lever up for whatever that might be worth. It keeps clicking. Hang on a second. Well, actually, not you. Let's get going. Dell, stay on this one. Someone there. Oh, we have been to this one. Okay. What are we here? That was three vocation. Let's go through transmutation. One step at a time. Oh, that goes. Oh, that sends you straight to Silverhand. There's not even a secondary room. Okay, so now you're on this. Got to press on. Best avoid that trap. I don't know which of the two pressure plates did it. Best avoid that. So they don't do fireball. They do disintegrate. Oh come on! I, I should have. Uh... Sure, one time that's fine. Okay. Dell can guidance. Shadowheart, stay on there. Despite everything. Uh, What's next? Shadowheart, stand on there. Actually, out of curiosity. Moving. So that's still silver. I've moved off of this. What what does this look like for this room now? Unchanged. What path lies before me? Be wary. This place is trapped. Del can buff himself to get a light edge here. We'll do a cat's grace. Unlock hereby the path to the Elminster Vault. Okay. Elminster Vault unlocked. So presumably if I just walk through whatever the heck here, it'll boot me back. Elminster Vault is indeed open. Let's see. Now, Asterion is down the abjuration route. Let me just check. Evocation, I think, boops me back to the start. Oh, no, it boops me over here. Does this never, lever never put up? I have no idea if the levers have anything to do with it. I think I keep going through. All right, that goes there. Okay. So transmutation is definitely a no-go. I should actually have just written things down as I experimented because I get them confused between which room is which. Over here, this will make me join Asterion. Oh, where the click is down. Hold on. Don't just touch me. Very well then. There we go. Okay. Watch the shadow. I think I probably could have checked this before. Bro, oh, stop! Someone's left. Fucking again. I really, really, really wish that it's had Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 feature when when you spot a trap, you could get an auto pause. Like auto enter turn base mode. Or have your characters just when they spot a trap, have them stop moving. That would be all. You don't need to pause. There are other things that stop your characters from moving around, like um when they get hit by certain effects in combat, it'll stop their movement and you get to choose whether you want to continue it. Although admittedly, that might only be in combat. Staring, buddy. Unlock hereby the path to the Casas vault. Okay. So those are the only vaults we know about. So we poke a door. It just sent me here. But... Okay. What now? Now there might still be more to open up, but maybe I should leave people here. But you know, it feels oh, like we... they all have the zone transition signs on them. Okay. All right. We're regrouped. Starian. Oh, okay, then it's just another door. Is it the same thing for the Karsus one? Yeah? All right. Then let's head to the Elminster Vault. Okay, no no perception checks or anything going off. Oh, that is the Codex. Cool. Ooh, Pyro Quickness Hat. When you deal fire damage with a leveled spell, so not a cantrip, you burn yourself and then gain additional bonus action this round. For combo I'm not particularly interested in pursuing, but... <laughs> Easy. Yeah, if when you spotted a trap, your character was a pathfinder around it, that would be nice. All right. Dell's gonna do the reading of this thing. 
Time for Karlak to have spells? Yeah. Pages are covered in esoteric symbols and strange runes, some indecipherable, but some strangely familiar. Your eyes are drawn to one page describing a long lost book, the Necromancy of the Fae. There are secrets of life and death known only to the Red Wizards. Committing such secrets to parchment is a risk they are loath to take, lest the unworthy gaze upon them. Who better then to guard their secrets than the spirits of the jealous dead themselves? To look upon the Necromancy of Thay is to risk madness at the hands of its spirits. But the wise traveler who can tread the line between life and death will find knowledge witnessed by precious few mortals. The rest of this entry details the precautions and risks associated with reading the text, but lays out a clear path to unraveling the secrets contained in this tome. I'm sorry, I got what? Tharkiat Withering. Your constitution score is reduced by five while cursed by the Codex's Warped Arcana. I mean, I can just remove curse myself. I'm going to take the book. No need to sneak around for it this time either. So let's check the journal update here. No, not the night song. We read the Codex and now have knowledge to finish Necromancy of Fate. Can I seriously just read it right now? I feel like I should remove my, cur my curse myself first, though. Uh, do I not have access to remove curse as a druid? Hmm, because I think it's a level three spell. I think clerics and wizards get access to it, but apparently not druids. We can go talk to Gale. Oh, Greater Restoration works as well? Interesting. Do I have that? All right, these things are not alphabetical, because why would they be alphabetical? Because um, this is Lesser Restoration. I don't think I have access to Greater as a Druid either. Sell scrolls for it and Sorcerer Sundries. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I want to read the book here. I was thinking about removing the curse immediately. Um... I do actually have scrolls remove curse. Only one. Shadowheart's not a cleric. Oh, paladins do get it. Hmm. Well, maybe then. Oh, yeah, remove curse. Heck, she doesn't have it. She isn't even has it memorized. Um, Shadowheart, my love, could you decurse me, please? Thanks. Much appreciated. I must keep going. Oh, if there's another book to read, could have just waited for that. But she's got more spell slots. It's fine. Oh, we went into the Karsus vault first. No, wait. No, we went into the Elminster vault. I got to turn around. Better take a look. It's an emotional support scroll. You can't just use it. He's right. That's Karlak on fire. She's hot. Also, uh, she is, I think, currently running a soul coin. Yeah, she consumed a soul coin, so she's extra fiery. Keep a blade close. This one. Scroll of Disintegrate. Ooh. This one's not locked up. You may just be warned. It is a great paradox among our kind who so value the art of learning that we believe ourselves ever cannier than the, the ones who came before. If envy is the disease of the artist, hubris is that of the wizard, though I fear my warning will fall on deaf ears. I'll say it again. The closer a wizard creeps to the domain of the divine, the closer oblivion creeps with him. I thought myself an equal to Mr. and devised a plan to make myself equal, uh, make myself her equal. I would pluck one strand of weave and contain it within an amulet I spent the better portion of my years devising. How regret instantly heaped itself upon my head. I was trapped within the amulet instantaneously and passed around from collector to courier hall for the better part of a millennium. Only now that I'm freed with barely the strength to hold my quill, can I leave this final warning as testimony. <sighs> Thing I can't read. Scroll of Dethrone. Shred a foe's very essence by pulling on strands of the weave. 10d6 plus 20 necrotic damage. Okay. Still alive, so that's progress. That's an Asterian. I'm going to do the reading duties here. Did I just click on the Water Myrmidon? Of course I did, because... Giant. Hitbox of Doom. An ancient handwritten book rebound at least twice... Uh, that purports to be notes written by the Ur-Mage Karsus himself. Much of it is in a personal wizard cipher, but the final page is written in clear text. My great spell of transcendence is mine alone, not to be committed to ink and parchment, but I have also forged three supreme enchanted items that are the physical embodiment of my wizardry, and of them I shall make record. There is a crown, an orb, and a scepter, each nigh alive with its own power and purpose, and these I call the Regalia of Karsus. I mean, we know about the crown, that's the whole story of BG3 here, 
Orb and Scepter. Hmm. Crown of Karsis, to attract and absorb magical knowledge and give the wearer dominion over himself so that he remains his own entity apart from the weave. Orb of Karsis, a storage device or battery that condenses mystic power, ever gathering so that it must be siphoned at an intervals of excess. The Scepter of Karsis, an instrument of projection, a focusing ut a utensil for the precise wielding of unimaginable unimaginably vast forces. Know of these items you must, for if I fail to achieve immortality, they will persist, I dare I say, live on beyond me. I mean, unless all three of these items, maybe they got like the nether stones out of the other two and put them all in the crown as part of the vibe. Ooh, read this, got the scroll. Wait, did I get another scroll of dethrone, including the one I just stole? You know what, we're gonna take this with us. Ah, a book on Netherese magic. Oh. Gale may like to know. Yeah, he probably would have had some dialogue if I was just here with him, but. Oh, is that the orb that's in his chest? Oh, yeah, that probably makes a lot of sense. Oh, breaker. Lethal weapon. Weapon ignores bludgeoning resistance. Really? Two-handed. Got the tenacity for the extra strength damage. Plus two. I mean, admittedly, that does seem quite good. Let's make it easier to compare. Let me send foe hammer to Karlak Car here. I don't know why the glaive... Vote Breaker's not adding in the plus 1d4 radiant. Oh, does the Moonlight Glaive just have 1d4 radiant built in? Sometimes it doesn't, it's not clear when these uh, modifiers are coming from um, the item itself versus a buff you have running. Uh, and there are buffs that add 1d4 radiant damage to you. So I just figured like we had an item or something that, that did that, but apparently it's not the case. So that's probably why the Moonlight Glaive has slightly higher max damage. Nice thing about Foe Breaker is gonna be more consistent with the damage range at 2d6. If we have Great weapon fighting, which ignore lets you reroll ones. The the d6s are better because it's more likely to have a useful reroll. It's got the tenacity for con uh, for um, consistency. The glaive does summon butterflies, which I love for Carlac. Arguably, maybe reach as well. The ignoring bludgeoning resistance seems insane, though. Yeah, how could you without me tell? Don't worry, we brought back all the books, right? Exactly. Extra reach is good. I mean, we could keep both and adapt the situation. They, I know, I agree, the ignore resistance is pretty nice. Now, not everything's got it. Something only has it versus, like, non-magic, so the magic will go through. You're missing a ring. Well, why don't you put the ring regeneration on? You're missing a few hit points, anyway. Yeah, I think the ring, ring regen may only work in combat. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the case. Looted, 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 looted. Is that blood? All right. No, never mind. Let's blow this pop stand. One day I'll catch a break. Okay, I think we're good here. It wouldn't ignore bludgeoning immunity, no. But I don't know if there's that many things that are immune to bludgeoning. I think some things might be doubly resistant. Like, they always take half and then take yet another half off um, if it's non-magic, so only, like, quarter. So we took some damage from the stupid traps. Oh, right. Sorry, I'll be out. My bad. Um, so, I mean, there's another office over there, although this guy definitely is watching that door. I think now we go up to Lorcan. Um, I think I'm just going to short rest, just to make sure we're at top, top health. Oh, right. Uh, we got to enter this portal. This is the one, if I recall correctly. The night song is in yeah, immortal being, child of a deity. That is correct. I wonder what happens when you go through any of the others. You just get shredded. You just get dropped off a cliff into a volcano. This is fine. Uh, 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 uh. Hold still, you teleported the entrance door. guards, don't let me back uh, in. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Much improved, but, uh, still leave something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, crank. Lovely water. Ready? <laughs> Aim. I like how we're in the, uh, like we're downrange. That is. McClaw, you may go. Oh, it also might kill you? Oh, wow! I see no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand? Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time? Okay, so I already hit the guy, right? We can all agree. Um, not quite the enthusiastic welcome I was hoping for. What do you want with her? You must be the wizard, Lorcan. And you? must have an answer to my request. <laughs> Surely. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> well, he's already threatening us. The night song. 
Do you have it or not? First of all, it's not an it. Hey, there you go. She isn't an it. I mean, if my natural reaction was to say that, then clearly I should go with it here. She isn't an it. She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. Correct. To the Shadowfell. Correct. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Correct. Tell She's me. awesome. And choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? Uh, careful, we were sure she'll eat you alive. What do you want her so badly? I know where she is. Might even be willing to tell you. We could try to deceive you. <laughs> no match for my magic. She's dead. I've seen her. She was trapped by Ketherick Thorm. I left her there. Get out of my face now. Oh my god, it keeps going. Um, I know nothing. I swear it. And then I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I think when um I think when I was here with my other character, there was another option too, because there's nine total options. I think it's I don't remember if it was because my other character was a bard. My other character is a bard, wizard, sorcerer, cleric. You like six? Get out of my Yeah, it doesn't sound like Dell though. Doesn't really sound like Dell. I think this might be one of the moments where he's like, okay, hold on. My radar is telling me that maybe I should actually poke and prod and have a few more questions. It's rare that Dell's in this situation, but it's like, well, so why, why do you want her so badly? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Oh, you like six for yourself, Andrew Bull, yeah. Let us cut to the chase. It's a very shiny wand. Beautiful. Isn't it worth more than your oh, you got hand tremors like I do. Or the camera is bad. It from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. Uh huh. And this, this can keep her in place. So y'all are cool if I kill this guy now, right? Like totally 100% fine. Uh, I'll tell her to come here just to give her the satisfaction of ripping her to shreds. I know where she is, might be able to tell you. Sorcerer Deception, I killed her. Deception, you know, I consider request. Oh, Ketherick, a sorcerer option. First Ketherick and, and now you. I thought wizards were supposed to be the smart ones. I kind of like that. I mean, I think murder time, fun time is coming up. You know, I'll give a, a, little, give a little signal behind my back to the party members. You know, it's time to maybe get into position. Although... Oh, right. Wow, we haven't gotten a fight all thing. I'm like, do I have a ranged character other than my main character? But yes, Asterion in this one. So in my um, in my current solo game, he's a monk, so he's like uh, short range. But here, he is an archer. Is there any vision over here? Oh, perfect. So why don't you go there and enter stealth mode as well? Excellent. Oh, turn up the in-game dialogue. Sure can oh, damn it. Asterion, stop being in follow mode. Go back upstairs. Sorry, I just realized the uh, Baldur's Gate volume wasn't set to max. That was left over from my multiplayer. Um, because I was running at half volume so that I could, uh, like in the Windows control panel, uh, so that I could hear people over Discord. My bad. But yeah, Shadowheart. I don't know if I can get close. They might trigger him if we just walked up. But like Shadowheart and Karlak would love to be right next to Lorakon here before the fight starts. I mean, I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Tiefling Apprentice still alive? Uh, you mean Roland? Yeah, he's still alive. I'll take this way. Let's see what happens. Hey ho. I mean, if the fight suddenly breaks out, you know what? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, for no reason whatsoever, you know, these these two lovely ladies are just gonna come and stand right next to you, buddy. Yes. And don't worry about not being able to see my Gloomstalker assassin uh, compatriot. He's just off somewhere. So we're going to say first Catherick and now you. I thought wizards were supposed to be the smart ones. It didn't work out for poor Catherick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god. But that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put yeah, he's gonna to a die. grand purpose, equalizing man and god. 
Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Um... Oh, we don't have the attack right now. There's more to divinity in lifespan, and snaring the mortal won't make you a god. Was your dream of immortality? I mean, yes, that'll be for a different character. Being and snaring the mortal won't make you a god. Of course not. But perhaps after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Attack. Whoa, Shadowheart with the two initiative. That's not great. Well, this fire remember done is crazy. I don't know if I want to re use my reaction on charm. Although, wait, my turn's next, so it'll refresh my reactions. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you can't attack me again. That's good. Also, a certain assassin archer is not currently in battle. Um, can we hit the guy? While maintaining our stealth. That is the question. Yep. Okay, we got sharpshooter running. 99% to hit. Love that. It's amazing. When you start, like, act one again, and, like, everything's, like, 60% chance to hit, you're like, oh, it's terrible. And you get to this point of the game, I'm giving myself a minus five. And we're just like, no, no, 99%. Yeah, we might still get xcom of course. Now, we will still have... Um, We could use an arrow. I think I'm fine with starting with just, just some raw, pure, unadulterated damage over here. Lorcan, Lorcan. I'm sorry, what the hell? Elemental Retort? I'm assuming it's just a spell he knows that's like the, like I know the Warlock one that lets you hit people when they hit you. I'm assuming it's just one time. Yeah, he's got a Siphons from his nearby dudes. Oh, this is adding damage to his elemental retort. Does it hit every time? I'm assuming it's just once per round. Boy, I hope it's just once per round. Well, now that I'm visible, do I want to use my bonus action? So I could use my bonus action to put my hunter's mark on it. Um, it's It doesn't add much damage, because it doesn't scale up. It's just a 1d6, I think, right? But I do have the hat or whatever that does give me plus 1d4 to hit with Hunter's Mark. But we still have advantage this round because of uh, Assassin. So we've got 99% to hit. So I'd rather use my bonus action for... For what else? Actually, that's a good question. I'm not dual wielding on this character. What would I be using my bonus action for? Rehiding. Maybe I'll do all my shooting and then hide again afterwards. Yeah, probably that. Okay, so it's not just once per round. Let's cook with fire, baby. Did, in my game, did we, in our multiplayer, did we go and kill all his, um, his elementals first? I thought we just bursted him down. Honestly, I think we can still just burst him down. We might have hit him with a stun. That might have been it. Uh, one of our characters in that game has the items, I don't remember, their gloves or whatever, that, um, uh, makes it so that when you crit... You can paralyze for two rounds. I think that's what happened. I think we paralyzed him so he couldn't do the retort. Presumably, if we had silenced him, that would do it. I don't know if, if he was if he was tripped. Would that prevent him from doing it? I wonder. Uh, time to push my luck again. Does Dell have anything that could shut this guy down? Maybe we could land a hold person. 42%. And there's, like, not much reason to multicast it to hit more people. I don't think Dell's got anything else that could stop him from casting spells. I mean, we might have a scroll of silence. Apparently I don't. All right, Karlak. It's go time. I'm kind of curious as, like, what happens if we just, just continue to just smash him in the face? You know what, Karlak is fond of playing Smash him in the face. Let's just do that. And we'll see if we can get a knockdown on him. I don't know if it makes a difference. Okay, so as it turns out, if he's flat on his ass, there's no retort. So that solves that problem. Do I want to finish smashing with her? Does it matter? Um, yeah, I guess I do. Let's just, let's just finish him. 
apparently it didn't undo his summons. We're going to take the rest of the fight a little seriously since we're down a person. Oh my god, okay. There's tons of quests that just updated. So presumably one of these... Dame Aelin is not our sworn ally. I mean, she probably was already the case. But maybe not. Maybe that wasn't there beforehand. Can't retort if your mouth is full of floor. <laughs> yeah, I think this is our last attack of the round. I don't have a bonus action to use this. Yeah, so I, I won't Reckless. We will use Tenacity, because I don't need to save it for anything else. We'll call that good enough. Now, Dell. This guy's Charm, so yeah, we don't get an attack of opportunity, which is great. I suspect I don't have Line of Sight on you to go and Healing Word you. Yeah, I'd have to go up there. Although, potentially a Mass Healing Word would work. That's an idea. The question is, I can actually get all the way up here and then have line of sight from the high ground. So I think I will just pop upstairs and figure out what we're doing from there. Because I could have cast something here first. Don't waste us. Oh, right. I got my fly, too. Oh, my God. So this is what I get for being like doing my my act one right now. Get off your floor, you butt face. Still have a bonus action. So, yeah, we'll just go and... I mean, we could drop some heals, but I'll do the hide on my way. and to pull back over here. I wonder if this is worth the cost. All right. Now, Dell's going to come up to the edge. I wonder if the gods are watching me. And do what? We're not currently concentrating on anything. A little late. I guess I could have hasted Karlak. I could still haste Shadowheart. I don't even know if they're in range now. They're too far away. So we could use one of our area concentration spells. I'm not entirely sure there's much that's called for, though. Don't I have confusion? Maybe I should just improve invisibility, uh, Asterion. Don't I have confusion memorized? Or is that not something? No, I guess that's also not something I have as a uh, as a druid. Big insect plague. I don't think there's a good spot for it. What should I do? Yeah, Asterion could action surge. You're right. Kind of hoping to keep him maybe stealth with it. Nah, I guess we should front load some more damage. And he hasn't used his Dread Ambusher stuff yet. Maybe I'll improve and vids him. Because here he's going to do this and break stealth. So he's got advantage. But then with Dell, Can't even catch my breath. I'll go greater invisibility. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a freaking touch spell and I can't reach you. That's what I... If I, if I hadn't moved to the front right away... Would I just haste you then? You'll still deal huge damage. You know what? Fine. Might also incentivize people to attack Dell to try to break concentration rather than Asterion. Let's use, uh, because I never use them. Throws a mini target. Wait. I've literally never used them. I didn't realize it auto chained? I assumed it was something where you clicked multiple targets along the way. The three other targets within range. Oh shit. It'll be you, you, and I think it did change to this guy, even though I didn't have a line of sight. Oh, well, that's insane. Uh, this one's been Guiding Bolt, although I have advantage regardless. I don't think I need the Executioner. I think he's going to die regardless. All right, there are fewer targets in range now. This guy actually isn't taking any damage. That seems weird to me, but okay. Break some line of sight. Another fight. Go there. Let's go. Why don't you... Chill. Ah! Don't kill Asterion. I just said... Eat your brain. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think there was any point in that, but it did tickle me. All right, Shadowheart. Uh, let's go and um, we'll be using your smites. I don't think there's anything for me to bonus action first. Yeah, we'll use the smites even if they're not critted. Good, good. And you're pure paladin, so there's no action surge. There's nothing fancy. I could throw up a shield of faith which isn't a terrible idea here. My last until long rest. She doesn't really do much that needs a concentration, and it might give people a reason to go and attack her by virtue of the fact that she's concentrating on a spell, but it'll also make her AC insane. We attack him. Oh, no one, okay. Oh, he's moving up here. All right, 
coming for Dell. I don't think charm is concentration. Special effect, yeah. Technically, he's still concentrating on haste, which is interesting. Asterion is still hastened, despite the fact that he's bleeding death. Well, it makes it he didn't die. We'll pop you up. This feels good. This way. I guess maybe I should have hidden first. Oh, you don't have any actions because you just got up anyway. All right, you know what? Now they see me. No choice but that. Try to stay alive around. All right. I smell blood. Oh, immune to prone. I mean, it's still nice for the bonus damage. Technically, they could be disarmed. Did it go down in odds? I thought he was better than 45%. Well, I don't know if we'll need the bonus damage on you. Reckless attack. Frenzied strike. Nice crit. Come on, can't stay idle. Uh, I mean, Del doesn't really have to use any actions or um, spell slots. I'd say. I think we'll just cantrip. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Yeah, who cares? Who's new sub? And a uh, Munlo, or no, that's probably not how it's. And Demon Lol? I don't know how to parse your name. Thanks for the sub, though. You need to chill. No. Let's end this. Seriously? Oh my god, we gotta get her a hit chance better. Yeah, <laughs> this new subscriber, yeah, who cares? Yeah, stream like. <laughs> Die. Mark. And everybody did. Excellent. Alright, let's move down here, because I think Roland's about to come in. Oh, there he is. Hey, Roland. Are you. Who are you trying to talk to? No, you just walk in? Hello. I think I clicked on the memory den again. What in the hell's happened here? Uh, Lorcan wanted to imprison and torture my friend Night Song. Couldn't let him hurt her. Killed Catherick. Now, Lorcan, you want to be next great wizard to die? Same thing that's going to happen to you. No! I mean, Roland's, you know, he's standard wizard. He's a little arrogant and a little moody, but he's fine. But yeah. I know. You're, the guy's a jerk. Should I else wonder? There we go. We got some rerolls. The Night Song was a person. Yes. Yet he still planned to harvest her life. Yeah, he was a jerk. Oh, I shouldn't be surprised. And by harvest her life, I think he meant imprison her forever. Man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night. I didn't get any of this development before. Questions of me. And for every one I answered wrong, he'd beat me. Jesus, what the hell? I could have killed him with my own two hands, but I kept My eyes are getting more and more effed up. It was all a test. It had to be. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. Think we should speak dead to the uh, dead I guy? I realize now he was just a sick, sick man. Then now, it's over. You've won. I only wish I could kill Lorcan all over again. Eh. Yeah, you know what? As do I. I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. He's going to be the next big Hopefully, bad in Multigate 4. You just I watch. everything I need right here. All hail Roland, master of Ramazeth's tower. It's the Baldur's Gate uh, 1 tower that you have to deal with. I think that's the guy who wanted the, uh, the nymph. Uh, you'll be challenged. I'm sure there are others who want the tower. That's true. Let them come. I... Uh... Happened across a book on the town. See, he's already got the extreme arrogance going on, so he's gonna make a fine wizard. I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. The Roican refused yeah, to let them alive. stay here. They are gonna love the tower. I wouldn't have this. The tower, my family. That's Without true. You. We really did some good things for this what guy. I do to thank you. City's under siege from inside out. I need allies. Do what you can to protect the people of Baldur's Gate. I'm sure this place has interesting trinkets you can part with. Oh! So I do need allies, but I don't feel like Roland is strong enough right now. I feel like if I chose that, that might lead to his death. But, I mean, if you got some sweet stuff... You look outside the balconies to see you simply aren't above uh, Search of Sundries anymore, yeah? Or do what you can to protect the people of Baldur's Gate. 
Dell, 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 Dell. I don't think he's gonna go option one because it's true, but I don't think he believes that Roland can be a strong enough ally. Do we can't protect the people? <sighs> That's actually a pretty good idea. Honestly, with the trinkets, we've mostly been strip mining the place. I don't think I've got to ask him for it. Maybe we will go with two, actually. That might make the most sense. You know, d help, help the civilians. There's gonna be some more warfare here. Yeah, two, but loot the place anyway. I mean, exactly. I will. I'll be the ruler of Ramazet's tower they deserve, not some vicious recluse who hides from the world. Myself and this tower are now your allies. When the time comes... Yes, yeah, so we, we still get the ally option. You, however necessary. I won't hide behind lies and oh. cheap tricks like Leroican. I will rule this tower as it should be. I wonder if the first I dialogue started. was auto-triggered when I walked near, and now this is Thank from you, me clicking. Oh, my friend. Talk. Best be on my way. So, do I have the, uh, oh yeah, I think this is ever since patch five. Sometimes when I spacebar, it doesn't close the loot window. Shelter of Athkatla. You have advantage on saving throws against spells. That is insanely good. And yet I don't think we're going to wear it. The spare of Athkatla. Plus one to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Dell, your weapon. Right, I'm wearing it because it gives me plus two uh, bonus save against spells, which is really good. But no, we are going to switch for um, this save DC spell attack rolls. Because my goal is to try to drop more of the CC, but I'm not. I mean, I'm mostly. Maybe I shouldn't be focusing on boosting my spell DCs. Or, if I do, I should also focus on making sure to, draw, to cast enough control spells. Right, so do I have the hat of disguise? I think the answer is no. I think we left it back at camp. Oh, no, I do. There it is. Hello, I am, um, what do I want to be? What, what, what are we going to be? Did I say arcane spells? Oh, well, we'll see. Plus one to spell save DCs and spell attack rolls. Dragonborn? All right. Always a gnome. regards you lifelessly. Who's more powerful, you or your apprentice? It probably will turn out it's Roland. Um, well, first things first, where do you store your valuables? Although we might already know. Magic repository. We did already pick up one key from an office. Any security measures I should be aware of in your repository? I mean, just normal shit. Non-specific, but yeah. Alright, I want to know how you became the master of this place. Oh, how do you avoid the traps? Hold on. That's not a very helpful answer. You're wasting my questions here. All right, how'd you become the owner? Yeah, I killed him in Baldur's Gate 1. How did you learn to imprison the Night Song? Oh, I got one more question. Where did Ramses go? Remain silent. Who is Ramses? Wait, how come I get so many questions? Aren't I supposed to get five? That's just weirdly chatty. The spells power away. Or they're like, you know what? We want to get the, these guys want to get as much background lore as possible and stay Dragonborn for a little while. So I don't think there's anything else on this floor. Hey, look at this, this tower. So high up, but you can descend. Now Dell can descend very easily. By virtue of fly ability. I don't know about our allies, though. Also, you're pretty badly hurt. Off we go then. So, I mean, I can do a jump. Watch your back. Oh, Roland, are you sitting on the throne? Oh, I should have sat on the, the book throne. Can I jump to that? No, but I, I thought. Oh yeah, over here. There's like something. Hoppable too, that's not as bad. 
Yeah, it's Tower and Guy and BG1 that want to enslave the Dryad, exactly. Okay, camera. You aren't being very helpful here. Minus 38. How far down is that? Can I just walk to here? No. I can hop. Oh, Dell's following. See, this is, this is why I should have given every single one of my party members a fly spell. I don't like that we're failing all these checks. There must be an elevator. Like in the middle? That must be an elevator, right? No one back home will ever believe this. Hang on. Time to press ahead. Well, I'm not trying to portal back. I'm trying to like go down because I'm assuming there's more shit to get over here. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Trust no one. Over there. Security. Let's hope for gold. Ad break coming up here. Each hand crafts create water. What the hell's going on outside? Failing Arcana checks. You know, maybe we should get Gale. At least things have stayed interesting. Let's group up. With haste. Right over here. And we might need Gale. I'm also gonna break my disguise. Jump on the sparkly bit in the middle and float? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we weren't close enough together for everyone to come to camp? I mean, I know we weren't all there. I guess it's just, I guess it's because of uh, Lazelle. She's having a hard time because she's so big. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. Oh, trap over there. Okay. So I guess we're using Arcana to identify traps. Which makes a lot of sense. Well maybe everyone came. I forgot that like because we're um, we're clumped. Yeah. How much Um You know what I think? I think we're gonna leave Carlac. Hey, soldier. This. Really? Uh, like, copper for your thoughts. Oops. Like really, no, no offense, at all. Oh, uh, is he gonna be Maybe pissed? Bring us closer. I'm, right, I'm bringing you now, Gale. Halls of Carsus, the preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. The truth of the crown, I hope. All that stands between us and enlightenment is the turn of a page. Yeah, okay, I'll give you the book. What could possibly go wrong? This isn't what I expected. This is much more. The crown of Carsus. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus' original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Cool. Nice for self-destruction, more like, didn't this crown kill Carthus? Uh, crowd hood, I know crowns are an ego boost, that's ridiculous. Can you follow it? I mean, yeah, doesn't it seem like a bad idea? Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate, and for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carthus's downfall. Mm -hmm. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes. Right, where's the crown? I could reforge it. Is it on the Elder Brain? Because, I mean, the three dudes have the nether stones. Well, we have two of them now. Yeah, okay, the crown is on the brain. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, yeah, to what end? To every end you can imagine. And a thousand more beyond. You know, listen, Gail. Just think of it. I, I, I thought I was supposed to be the, like, bad decisions guy. Last. We'd be free of doctrine and dogma. Confined only by the limits of our imaginations. This seems like a terrible idea. The gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we <laughs> want. Terrible idea. 
Um, you just missed the entire pantheon so easily, not all gods and self search. And you think Mr. will let you do this? Mortals are far better guardians of their fates than the gods. We have more to lose. Well, because, y you listen, y your ex might not take too kindly to this idea. I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in more. Ao is the over god who rules the pantheon. She may have no choice. You don't worship them directly. But to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world. Ao's got like the god of the gods. Little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. I mean, I can see his point. The brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control. Ready to be claimed by Carson. This feels like a different side of Gale. Like, he's mostly been chill for most of the game. Now all of a sudden he's like, power, I must have all the power. I thought you were past this kind of temptation, Gale. You know exactly where such overreaching leads. I mean... You know, this coming from Dell, who's like, yeah, I'll sacrifice anything it takes to gain some power so that I can save the world, right? Uh, or to destroy the next wizard. Tempts it, tempts it, would kill you as it killed Karthus. You believe you're supposed to be the successor. No artifact. So you want the crown to settle a score with Mistra? Ooh! Oh, it's spicy! I like it! I like it! I oh, yeah. Do you want the crown to settle a score with Mistra? She sent me to die. Ambition She's not, is not wrong. The question the powers that rule us is not treason. We must at least try. Why wallow in the dirt where we can reach for the stars? Okay, hold on. Dell does get easily convinced. I think we say three. I think you say, you know what? You're a convincing man, Gail. Like, Crown does sound promising. I think he, he, Dell is easily swayed. You're a convincing man. I'm glad you can recognize this for the opportunity it is. Nevertheless, not a step to take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Here's your tome back. You proved to be even more valuable than I ever could have imagined. For both of us. Ah, Elminster! Hang on a sec. Gail? What's on your mind? Uh, join me. What's up, dude? Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull dairy on air. Hey, Renosian. <laughs> yeah, there's a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of... Daddy's the home. Name. I hear... I think there's gonna be a spanking. ...browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Uh, <laughs> uh, first of all, you don't seem all that surprised to see Gale alive and well. Last time we spoke to you, you set up a nuclear bomb in his chest for us to go and try to take out the, um, the Elder Brain. So let's address that first. I trusted he would be sensible enough to exercise caution in this matter and to seek the truth. By now, you are aware of the evil we are up against. Uh-huh. Cassos's pestilent crown. Oh yeah, the crown's a bad idea, clearly. Mm -hmm. Its eponymous creator unmade an empire and magic itself. Yeah, it would be really stupid to put it back now together, right? You understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme. Oh, you're right. The nuclear bomb was already there. That's true. He just made it so they had a manual trigger. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mr. knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mr. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience. We get to meet Mistra? I mean, this like, I gotta see, right? Uh, meet her, she might be able to help us. You really think Mistra will be willing to hear Gale out? Mistra's done Gale enough harm. Sounds good to me. Gale can tell her exactly what's coming when we get hands on her crown. No, I could just keep my mouth shut. But I do kind of want to encourage Gail to go and see this meeting because it sounds, uh, it sounds great. 
Del, again, a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, yeah, susceptible, suggestible, gullible, maybe. You really think Mister will be willing to hear Gale out? I see remaining optimistic as my duty, especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill. I like every time they say quill. It. Okay. Yes. So where do we leave you off there? Uh, level 10 wizard cleric. Okay. The splash of cleric is generally kind of nice to mix some things up. Could respect you to be a sorcerer, but I, I will keep you as a we'll keep you as a wizard for now. I don't think I'll do a respect because I'm not sure I'm planning on running around with him. You love Inkbound. Didn't I play Inkbound? Yes, I think uh no, I have it, but I haven't played it. I really do have to play that, don't I? Do do do. Oh, Heart Space Shipbreaker is an excellent game. That's a lot of fun. I do. I'm doing good, Renosian. Yeah, no, it's really good. I haven't played a lot of Shipbreaker. I think I only did it one time on a stream. I don't really care what we give Gale here. Have the Ray of Frost. Um, Conjure Mental's excellent. I'll probably just give you one of the wall spells, actually. If you don't already have Wall of Fire or something. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about Gale's spec because I'm not planning on running around with them. Uh, but we are going to bring him around for the, the looting of things. Pick up Chain Lightning. Global vulnerability. I don't even know if he's got useful gear on him. Uh, the only thing I care about is that he should... Yeah, he does have proficiency in Arcana. And we'll be using him to spot the, the so-called magical traps in the other area. Oh, he does have some items on him. He's got the gloves of Dex? The helm, I mean, it was better than nothing, I suppose, but it looks pretty terrible. I don't know if we've got something else to throw on him. Yeah, we're not going to do that. He's got Mel's first staff, which is a great staff. I, don't, it, I mean, most of it's not going to be relevant at this time, but that's okay. The idea, yeah, again, is just to say, leave the camp. Oh, and then we can have a conversation with him over here. And, well, so all it, it took to get Mistra's attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. I don't want to respect him as a sorcerer, just because I know it'll annoy him. Uh, what do you think she wants to say? She's scared of you. How could she possibly know you? We read a book. Hasn't she got more important things to worry about? And she is a god. Are you sure you want to go with her? Might want to punish you. And what do you think she's, she wants to say? Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is. If it's important enough to send Elminster, we can be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her. And Dell's eyes are effed up. Come what may afterwards. Uh, yeah, we'll head to the tabernacle. After you. We'll head to the tabernak. For now. Sorry, most, uh, a lot of like, uh, well, I was gonna say French, but French Canadian swears. A lot of them are just sacrilegious. Tabernacle is one of, uh, no, don't click on the water, Mermin. So the arcane check spotted the gas pipe. I'm assuming disarm is probably still sleight of hand. Um, I wonder what actually sets it off. We do have to wrap up the stream in a second here. I'm just wondering. I go and just run around a little gale. To spot things. It's theft, but I don't think there's anyone watching us over Nasty here. Surprise. Caution is warranted here. Yeah. We're spotting all the I mean, I can go ahead and disable all the gas pits. It is really interesting that it's Arcana to spot them. I do like oh, there's a fail check over there. I guess I probably should have um guidanced him first. Just to increase the odds. And there's a bunch of buttons. But that'll have to wait until next time. 
Yeah, no idea what any of these buttons do. This is interesting because this isn't highlighted in red. So it's like it doesn't count as uh, theft. I do love the view we've got going on here, though. That's crazy. Yeah, the outside buttons aren't flagged as red. The inside ones are, but I'm not worried about getting spotted. I mean, I still want to go. Oh, man, that's all encased over there. I still want to go and, you know, kill Orin and res rescue Lazel. The idea was come here, do some shopping, maybe get, you know, we're getting some supplies for the fight against Orin because she sounds nasty. We're we're in the vault-ish area. It seems like we should probably keep working on it. We'll see. Oh, the mage hand is watering the plants. That's what it's doing. Ah, excellent. Okay. Um, is a kiss for luck streaming today? Uh, yes. Settlements rising. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like the sort of game I'm interested in. We're going to go ahead and raid her channel. Give her some love. And we'll be back on Wednesday. I'm not sure what Wednesday is going to be. Uh, cause we did play some CK3, but I think we're kind of, I feel like we've kind of concluded that run quite nicely, which is good. We could consider more last train home. We could consider more, um, infection free zone, the zombie game that we were playing on Saturday that turned out to be insanely fun. We could also check out one of the other games by that company. Um, their 911 or 112 operator games, which can also be played in any city in the world because of their open street maps thing. So we could play it in my hometown or we could play it in your hometown. We could see, um, yeah, so we'll see. And then on Saturday, we're also not sure. We've been playing a lot of cities lately. We might go back to cities, or we could consider a RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress run as well, or something else. Civ 5, Marb, Marb is, there, is playing it, and I saw it on YouTube. I'm actually still working on a Civ 4 Let's Play. I've, I've got like I've got like six or seven episodes recorded of a Let's Play. I haven't been able to get back to it in about a week, though. So um, I'm waiting to, you know, get back to it and finish it, because I didn't want there to be a gap, because I knew it was sort of going to be an in-between games kind of thing. So, But revisiting Civ 5 would be interesting as well. So we'll see. Uh, Deity Twins back. Yeah, that was a fun series. Anyway, we'll see you on Wednesday. We'll see you on Saturday. And for now, we'll see you in a Kiss for Lux channel. See you soon.